So welcome to another day. It's absolutely pissing it down, which almost put me off even bothering doing this. But it turns out, and I don't know, even know what brought me down here, but it would seem that someone's repaired the roof of the garage and it no longer leaks. I don't know when this happened. It's been raining for like two hours or so, and it's still bone dry in there. Oh. So maybe it's time for me to take it all back with the um, screwing about my service charge, but I'm sure this wasn't there before. I mean, it's not, it's not the most professional job I've ever seen, but you, I must say, not a drop on Joan, and usually here would get really bad as well. Um, I did have a shelf here that got so wet that it ate through itself and fell down. Um, so yeah, I don't know if someone reversed into this wall though, to be fair, I can see daylight, but you know, Good to know, it's actually somewhere I can chill now. So I think today is probably gonna be a clean up day maybe, I don't know. This is all just shite. Um, yeah. Oh, there's a brush there. So yeah, I can clean the floor and I'm gonna try and take up the cover for the master cylinder inside, which is just in the footwell. And I'm pretty sure last time I looked at that, they were rusted to heaven. So I'm going to have a look at that and if not, I'm just going to grind that out and um, buy a new one. Because I think about 14 quid for the new plate. But to be honest, I think just banging any old plate on there and uh, drilling it through and throwing some bolts in might do the job. But we'll see, we'll see. I don't know why I'm just showing you random houses. There she is. It's another day, day three of productivity. Good, good, good. So as you can see, I mean, I don't know if you'll know this. Sorry about the shadow. Um, under this plate here is the master cylinder uh, housing basically it's all in there and these are rusted to hell so hopefully they come up but i'm gonna doubt it i mean i don't think that's got any anything left so let's see if we can get it up because that's been wet for years and it's basically just became part of the floor again but, so I reckon this is going to get destroyed in the process and I'm going to have to replace it. So maybe I'm just going to rip it up, bend it, snap it, do what I can and then go from there. Because I think, yeah, I've found out that it was about 14 quid to replace this panel. So that's fine. Uh, let's try and rip it out. First of all, it's actually worth me jacking the front end up, getting a nice and high on the axle stand so I can have a look underneath and see what the crack is actually, because I've never had a proper look underneath the front end. So um, I need to do a big purchasing uh, spree to get all the bits. So worth having a look first, let's do that. Right, I'm going to jack her up from the oil sum, essentially the engine itself, but I think that's a nice sturdy bit. As always, use a bit of wood to pack it out so you don't puncture or scratch or nick anything. Uh, yeah, I think that's going to be sweet. Remembering that this is rear wheel drive, so being in gear will do the job. We'll get the axle stands on the cross members. Now this is leaking something. No idea what, hopefully it's just water that's still trapped in the under tray, but I do know. He's up, it's a bit ropey because I'm missing a wheel off that jack. So we're on the axle stands as well. And what's happened during that debacle, we've had a lot of fluid piss out from here. And I'm not sure if that's just water that's been held. Yeah, it feels like it maybe coolant it smells of wee wee i don't know if cars piss when they're this old but it appears so uh what can we see so i'm gonna have to clean all this up but it's just dripping from here so that's how much water got in i don't know if this is yeah like i say it's probably coolant but it ain't nice so that's a start anyway we have to dry this out I'm going to find a towel or something, god damn, and then uh, move on from there. But I think we're nice and stable anyway. The miracle here is actually coming undone. So there's one that's going to be done shortly. 
and we'll see how lucky we get with the others but um i'm not holding up much hope for that one because it's got no head at all this never got put back in and there's only that top one to be worrying about but i think they're going to have to just get ripped out or this whole plate's going to get bent which is a shame but at least there's one out that's cool movement which is good um yeah, no way am I getting these out with a spanner or anything civilised like that. I am going to check underneath and see if it's a bodge job and there's some nuts under there. But I don't think so. And uh, update on the garage, it's not waterproof. It just needed to rain a bit more. Right, de ho Nah. Nothing I'm going to get to. I think it's these points here. So never mind. They're going to have to get ripped. But that's fine. In my head, the sensible thing to do is to snip around the areas and then maybe I can slide it back in later because it's there's some play underneath. Um, so maybe these do the job because I doubt there's any structural integrity left in this plate. Okay, we are in. There's the original cylinder. Now, I don't think this has ever been unearthed in its nearly 60 years of life. So we'll see what we're playing with. Then again, there is a cable tie there, so maybe it's been seen to at some point. Yeah, the boot's looking fine. actually probably get to that now so we can save a oh come on so yeah at least we can buy new bolts for this we've still got the original threads to go into with the new plate does it just spin i think it's coming up great news see not a waste of time everyone not a waste of time so as expected, the plate's been ripped away, but the heads on these bolts are good enough to maintain the original mounting points. So I'd call that a winner for now. Just because we can, I think this is a good time to take off the main filler cap to this um, original master cylinder. Now there is an expansion one in the uh, bulkhead now, which was for the new servo system that was installed. But a servo system that I'm not really a fan of, and I think I'd prefer real feel as far as it comes to um, brake shoes, because I just don't have a problem with my foot yet. So unless I was getting discs put on, which I'm not, I'd go down the servo route. But for now, I'm hopefully just gonna remove that expansion, that, that whole shebang, get rid of the servo and go back to how it was. Um, Cause I'd love to experience it anyway, to be honest. Uh, so let's get rid of this and see if what's leaked out is actually completely black brake fluid. Cause I reckon chances are high suspicion that this will seem like the right size yesterday and it is so i'm just going to use that because very uncouth of me oh even better uh and drag this off let's see what we win will it crack i believe so we crack with one hand though i doubt it oh dear Chunky. If I, I'm gonna pull her off the axle stands now, aren't I? There we go. We have movement. Now, no idea what I'm expecting to see. I'm glad we freed it. This looks like a fairly fresh cap as well. See if it smells the same of that sh stuff that pissed out. So there we go.
No, so it doesn't smell the same, but yeah, that should be full of fluid, obviously. And it's not. Now, is it this that's leaking? Quite possibly. That doesn't look too healthy, does it? This little gasket. So, at least that'll need swapping out. But um, I reckon a new cylinder just to get the ball rolling because that looks full of crud and crap and it's going to have been doing us no favours. So I think around 50 quid for a new one, but we want to try and remove it now somehow. Now this has been cable tied, so that can't be great, but maybe it's just for more integrity and that just slips on. Hopefully the rest, what we got? There's a piston there. There is a, a boot that has survived around it. And that's pushed by the pedal. Cool. Return spring, I believe, is absolutely. There's a 101 on how to blind yourself. <laughs> <laughs> that squirted directly in my eye. Will he be able to see tomorrow? Who knows? But hopefully, a mammy a wet wipe will be my saviour. Jesus. So that was a stupid idea. We learn as we go. <laughs> Did that tell you that there's nothing wrong with this? I mean, look, plenty of pressure there. That's just tapping it. So maybe there is nothing wrong with the cylinder itself. And we could do with a new gasket, obviously, get that done. Because I think that broke when I took away that cap. But um, at least we can fill this on the next go when we do the brake fluid again and we can know that this is full, which I've never known because I've never had this off. So maybe, ah, none the wiser. The cap on, I've um, just been testing the brake again and you do get servo to stuck here, but we could just tell that everything seems to work. Actually, it's still not leaking, but we know it's not full of fluid. Worth checking now if it's leaked more underneath because that's its chance. Ugh. I'm probably going to say no. There's lots of drips, but I think it was just sitting water, unfortunately, because it's all coming out of what looks like holes that are designed to let the water out when you actually use the car. So, torsion bar is going to be in the way, but it's easier to take off here or just to bend it to get to the bolts. It looks like we can get to them anyway pretty easily. Yeah, we'll get that out of the way. I know this is a problem with getting that cylinder out, is this bar's in the way of the second bolt, or maybe both bolts. But I'm gonna start watching some videos on that and see if we can learn anything. Oh, bloody hell, look how much water came out that side. Good Lord, good Lord. Let's go and smell it. Yeah, it's leaking everywhere around here again. Sad times. All oh, right, it's just raining, good. Let's have a look down here. Yeah, it's just raining here. <laughs> That's a shame. Uh, I'm gonna bang the bag on her then. Watch some videos on removing this uh, master cylinder. Now we've got to it. Wait for the damn garage to dry out because I can't get on the floor now. So uh, that's that. Bloody hell. I'm just going to do a quick um, recap on what went down today and the rain stopped, for God's sake. Oh well, the floor's absolutely soaked so I'm not getting any more work done. I've thrown the cover on the car just to uh, finally put some effort in. So today we jacked the front up, we checked what's leaking and where from. It looks like a load of standing water was inside all the bits that usually catch water in cars and it's obviously had no chance to escape been parked in here for 12 months so it's good to know that water's out now i don't think any of the stuff that leaked was oils or uh, fluids like that but i do think i mean i've got a feeling that the uh, master cylinder is actually okay but would need a clean so i'm going to take it out clean it properly um better the devil you know and all that um and yeah what did we do we took out the plate from the footwell we had to bend the life out of it to uh, remove it, but that's fine. It probably hasn't survived and we'll have to get a new one. And that's pretty much it for today. 
everything's come away though every bolt we've touched has come out so let's oh yay for that um yeah awful weather i'm done see you in the next one just gotta wait for the garage to dry out and then we can get on my back and start ripping bits out but yeah it's gonna be I'm gonna watch the videos anyway, but I'm pretty sure there's just a couple of bolts to release that master cylinder from underneath, behind that torsion bar. And you just pull that away with like wedges of wood or whatever you can really, and you can leave it in situ. But again, uh, we'll learn as we go. I'd just like to say, I'm not a professional. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm a sound technician at best. And even there, <laughs> I'm guessing a lot and we get through it. But um, yeah. Thanks for joining me. This has been a Bromley Wonders. Joe and the Morris Minor, thank you for your time. And hopefully you learned a little something, or at least entertained for a little while. But uh, thanks for joining. See you in the next one. Oh, I'd also like to actually thank anyone who's been in touch. Um, I know there's a fella who's emailed me recently about photos of the GEC from way back in the day. And I'm just basically going to have to fire up my old laptop to get that photo for you of the shower bangs outside the GEC building. Um, but yeah, that's, it's on the to-do list and I will be in touch, but um, thank you for your email. Uh, anyone else who just said, put a comment in, uh, it's really appreciated and it's uh, good to know that some of you are getting some value out of the content and you're appreciating it, even if it's the history videos, if it's the kayaking videos, if it's the car stuff, if it's just the wandering around. Um, this is all for my entertainment basically i don't know i find it really nice to spew words and get my thoughts out no matter what i'm doing it just seems to keep me occupied and interested and focused to a point um and if that equates to entertainment for some of you lot then that's brilliant but just remember i'm not professional if you choose to copy anything i do or say good luck to you but um this is not an instructional this is just my experience uh, but thank you very much and i'll see you soon